Greetings and salutations, this is Evelyn O'Malley, lady of the, lady of the room, with another tea time. And today, since it's about, I think we'll be in the second week of October, when this video will be released. I know most people really hate it whenever I do this, but... I do it because of the time issue. Like, I don't know when you're watching this. I don't know if you just started watching my channel. So, you know, I just wanted you guys. I guess that you could argue that that's really stupid for me to tell you that, but hey, sorry. Just felt I should do it. However, this week I want to talk about morality. You know, you're probably watching a film pretty soon, or will be watching in, in the following week to come. Uh, if you do, ABC Family's place, what was it? Oh, yes, twelve, Thirteen Nights of Halloween. It should be called the Twelve Nights of Halloween because, sorry, there's only twelve. And start, the day it starts, it will only be nineteen will be 31st and we're going from that point but that's besides that that's entirely off charts this is about morality you know good versus evil bad worse versus worse I guess worse versus better better versus whatever is worse than better I guess terrible <laughs> But, let's start off with what the dictionary describes as morality. And, the first definition comes under conformity to the rules of right conduct. Then semicolon followed by moral or virtuous conduct. And then you have second being moral care, quality or character. Basically, are you a good person or bad person? Get the deal. Um, virtue in such well, manners. Chastity. Okay. You know, or, you know, if you don't know what the word chastity means, anything the opposite of, well, infidelity. Okay, basically the opposite of infidelity. Oh. Okay. Um, so, so, fourth definition mentions a doctrine or system of rules. So, Bible, system of morals. Or something like that. The Bible is considered a like, book of morality. And then you have fifth being moral instruction. And semicolon, moral lesson. And so, story. Uh, then you have precepts. Discourse or utterance. Let's and I have a dictionary here, and it's kind of a weird definition to me, but it says moral conduct, virtue. So, yeah, now that I threw all those words at you, I mean, you know, things to look up if you don't know what some of those words mean, no offense, don't mean to talk down to you, but, also, uh, uh, the reason why I kind of bring it up, why I bring that part up is, I watch tons of films where, or, well, I used to also be a, well, okay, Let's actually show what I was going. It, let's hear someone else's perception. And this one is going to start us off on what we we're really going to talk about. Okay? Okay. And it's a thing by Digi. It's one of his uh, observations on MLP free will slash thorough, thoroughly analyzing. In the review, Return of Discord, I think that's what it is. Oh, Return of Harmony. Sorry, dude. 
me, but yeah, by Digi Brownie. And here's his part about good and evil. After all, these concepts are completely subjective, and most people will give you a different answer when asked. Personally, I like to refer to good as anything that promotes life and livelihood, whereas evil is anything that disrupts life and livelihood. I could probably go on for hours pontifying on Okay, and there you get most of what I was about to say. Hey, what makes us evil? And I think about this as I watch films and movies and throughout my own life. What necessarily makes a person evil? Not just in a film, but in life. Because a lot of times I'll watch films that make people evil. Huh? Make a certain kind of person evil. Like a video game, or, or a certain book, a film. You know, we always tell, talk about how films, you know, mess with the minds of the youth today, and that it desensitizes them to the actual problems in our world, which, you know, I think these are the people who don't have children, or do not understand how the mind works in the first place, which makes more sense, because that actually does more sense. Sorry. However, a lot of times when I watch films that involve good and evil, like, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street, Harry Potter has a good point about morality, that, you know, they're, you know, they have good wizards and bad wizards, and, of course, Voldemort being the most evil of the wizards. <laughs> Mostly because he wants to steal other people's souls. We never really go. We never go into why he's really evil. Like, you know, exception of killing people, harming people. But then again, I guess in the wizarding world, uh, death really doesn't matter. You ever noticed? But anyways, I'm just curious. I guess that's what this all about boils down to. What is there, what is your perception of good and evil? I guess my perception of good and evil, just to give you a point. I, I'll give you an idea of what I would like to see in the comment sections. I don't know if I will. But my idea of evil is definitely something that causes harm, okay? But not just harm like physical harm, but one of mental or spiritual harm. Something that you cannot fix and you know it can damage a person. Oh, yes, that too. Also, knowledge. That it doesn't just cause physical pain. It does not just cause physical pain, but, you know, emotional and spiritual, as well as knowledge of the fact that you did this. That you know you hurt someone and you have no shame in doing it whatsoever. And yes, being a Christian, that's kind of what I was taught, but I believe that makes sense in any way, shape, or form. You know, anytime you hurt someone and you know it's going to hurt someone, yeah, that person should be in jail. They knew that they was going to hurt that person. Probably should be in jail. However, this is not all about me. Oh, okay. I guess I'll show the good side of morality. Which is... And it's weird. For good and evil. I would say... For good, does it does it make your life better? Does it 
fix problems not only mentally, but emotionally and spiritually. A third being, what I just stated, another one is, did you know that this was going to happen? You know, does this, you know, does this bring it up another notch, in a way? Does this, you become a better person? Can it help you make better decisions and such? That improves life, not harms it. That's usually what makes life good. What makes it good at all. But, anyways, please, if you can, put that down in the comment sections down below. Uh, huh? Comment section. Oh, uh, and if you wish to have any more conversations with me, hey, please follow me on my Tumblr and Twitter. I hope to make more videos like this, preferably with better pacing. I understand this is not the best. Pace video of my life. I usually have these a lot shorter, but I wanted to have this discussion because of that was a personal thought of my own. I just thought it was an amazing thing, and I really hope you do enjoy this video. Anyways, Evelino Malley. Hey, ouch!